Well, health this morning. The FDA appears ready to green light the first treatment using gene editing. If approved, it would target sickle cell disease, which affects about 100,000 people in the U.S., many of whom are black. Few treatments are available at this point, so this has the potential to be a game changer. CNN's Meg Terrell joins us now. Meg, you spoke to a young patient who's one of the first people in the world to have his genes actually edited, which sounds terrifying, but yeah. <laughs> could be a tremendous breakthrough. Why? No, absolutely. I mean, he put it that way as well, and it'll be so exciting for everybody to get to hear from him. This is a huge moment in science and also in medicine because CRISPR itself, this gene editing tool, was really only discovered almost a decade ago. It won the Nobel Prize in 2020, and sickle cell itself has also been a neglected disease in the pharmaceutical industry. So this is a huge moment on multiple fronts. Check it out. Two years ago, it was hard to imagine 15-year-old Johnny Lubin doing this for very long. Born with sickle cell disease, an inherited disorder affecting the red blood cells, Johnny has been in and out of the hospital his entire life, dealing with bouts of extreme pain and other serious complications. It was kind of hard for me to like do things like have fun and stuff because I'd always have to be worried about if I'd have a pain crisis or not. It would mostly be in my back, like my lower back, and it'd always like be like really like a pounding pain in my back, so it hurt a lot. How long would they last? Sometimes the days. Until now, the only hope for a cure for the estimated 100,000 people in the U.S. with the disease has been a bone marrow transplant. But like more than 80% of patients with sickle cell, Johnny couldn't find a donor. We were desperate. Mm -hmm. At that point, we were like, okay, hey, what's gonna be next? We thought that we were gonna lose them. So Johnny and his family decided to try something that's almost never been done before. I was worrying that I might be like get like superpowers or something. <laughs> like. As part of a clinical trial for a completely new kind of treatment, Johnny is now one of the first people in the world to have his genes edited using CRISPR to treat his disease. And I'm like, wow, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> and scary. And yeah, and freaky. You feel like a medical pioneer? I don't know. I feel like I feel like a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> in sickle cell, a genetic mutation causes red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body, to be misshapen, like crescents or sickles. They can get stuck in the blood vessels, causing severe pain and decreased oxygen to organs. CRISPR allows you to make a precise cut in DNA. In this case, cells are removed from the body and edited to turn on production of a different form of the oxygen-carrying protein hemoglobin, a type we have when we're babies, explains Johnny's doctor, Monica Batia. Then the edited cells are returned to the patient. So in essence, it's a fetal hemoglobin induction um, process. And that's good enough? Fetal hemoglobin we know has oxygen, um, a higher oxygen carrying capacity than adult hemoglobin or sickle hemoglobin. And so yes, it is more than good enough. <laughs> and so far, it has been good enough. 29 out of 30 patients, including Johnny, met the trial's goal, being free from having a pain crisis for at least a year after treatment. How long has it been? Two years. Two years. Now Johnny and his family celebrate his treatment day as his second birthday. October 4th is when I got the infusion. So basically I got the whole new like dose of like cells and stuff. And while Johnny didn't turn into a superhero, what he got might be even better. I'm starting to teach him how to drive, so that's another you know, thing to worry about. So yeah, so we're stepping into the regular worrisome of you know, raising a teenager. The chance to be a regular kid. He's a clown. My baby's a clown. Yes, I am. Yeah. So you guys heard there. It's been two years since he's had a pain crisis. They don't know how long this is going to last. The hope is that it's lifelong. But, you know, you have to get the cells removed from your body. They're edited and then returned. That comes with a lot of complications. Chemotherapy, you have to stay in the hospital for a month. So there are risks to that. This also could be very expensive, maybe $2 million per treatment. So there are questions about how widely it'll be used. But it is expected to get approved today, and it'll be a huge medical Big deal. And you don't need a donor. Right. That is a That's game changer. Yeah. What a story. Thank Great you, Meg. Piece. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.